right, so what is so great about do-it-yourself solar panels? Well, we're going to talk about the benefits, the drawbacks, and how to make your uh, solar panels here very quickly over the next couple minutes. Just a, a nice little uh, overview presentation on, on do-it-yourself solar panels. Okay, so what are the benefits of DIY solar panels? Well, to start out, you're going to save yourself a lot of money. Uh, building your own solar panels, they can save you oh, I don't know, upwards of a couple thousand dollars because to have a solar panel system professionally installed costs at least twenty, twenty-five hundred dollars, uh, and you can you can install your own system for under two hundred uh, if you go out and buy the parts and put in the time to install it yourself. That's about how much money you're going to spend. Now, granted, your your do-it-yourself solar panel system is is probably going to be a uh, quite a bit smaller not as extravagant as a as a professionally done system but it's still going to be saving you money and uh, you're going to be powering some of your home off of it and then uh, you also have you all mean you always have the the, the, the option of expanding and, and uh, extending your solar panel system if you like so uh, if you're okay starting out a little bit smaller I would definitely go with doing it yourself because you're going to save a lot of money off the bat and then that's going to continue to save you money each each month as you're uh, as you use less and less uh, electricity from the power plant, um, saving upwards of eighty percent of uh, of your uh, electric bill really is is not that hard to do. And if you put in a little more work, you can probably eliminate your electric bill completely. And then you're really going to enjoy being green uh, because solar energy is is clean, it's renewable, and it is a much safer option than fossil fuel energy. So, um, yeah, the, not only are you going to be saving money, but you're going to be uh, doing your part to save, to save our, uh, the, our, our Earth. And uh, some of the drawbacks would be that you definitely have to do this work. <laughs> that is one of the drawbacks. It does take some time. It does take some work. Uh, you must be able to follow directions and be able to use tools. Uh, you have to do some wiring, I believe, probably some, some soldering. Uh, you have to be able to uh, construct framework for the panels. So it, it is it is some work, uh, but if you have a good guide or some good directions to follow, uh, then I, I would think you're going to be okay unless you're completely uh, illiterate when it comes to tools and construction. And also, you the must have access to direct sunlight for wherever you want to install your panels. They have to have, be in the sun, or obviously it's not going to work. So if you live in the middle of the woods where it's shaded all the time, uh, solar energy probably isn't a good option for you. Okay, well, how do you build your solar panels? Uh, building solar panels involves connecting photovoltaic cells. Those are those uh, those uh, rectangular, black, thin cells. Uh, and then uh, you connect a bunch of those together. You, you put it on a sturdy wooden frame or plastic frame. And then you install it on top of your home or your shed. Like I mentioned earlier, uh, some electrical wiring and soldering is, is, is usually involved. And I definitely would not recommend trying to do this on your own unless you have uh, either extensive experience or you know or know someone or one of your good friends has a good experience or if you have access to a, uh, a really nice do-it-yourself solar panel guide, which there are a lot out there available on online. You can download them, <coughs> download them instantly and uh, they, they have a, a lot of nice stuff included. Uh, there are three solar panel uh, do-it-yourself guides that I would recommend. My number one choice would be the Green DIY Energy. I like this one because it has a step-by-step -step manual for weekend assembly of not only your solar panel system, but you also get plans for how to do a windmill as well. Uh, and they, the, the, another really nice thing about uh, this one is that you get two hours of how-to videos on the more technical aspects of uh, creating your your solar panel system. So you can act, that's nice. So you can actually see someone doing it instead of just reading about it. You also get a parts and shopping list, and uh, they give you an example systems or an example of a system built uh, for under one hundred dollars, which is pretty cool. Uh, so so you can uh, replicate their example and and build your own under for uh, under a hundred dollars. Now I believe that involves a little bit uh, being a little bit more thrifty with what kind of parts you buy, but with a little extra work you can do it much cheaper. And they come with a 60-day money-back guarantee, which is always uh, a comforting thing to know that it's that if it doesn't, if it ends up not working out, then uh, you get all your money back. My other top choices would be Earth for Energy. 
which has a, a nice long ebook for solar and wind power a video library, although not as big as uh, Green DIYs, and they have lifetime upgrades for free. So if they change the product a year from now, then you're going to get that, that uh, upgraded product for free. And Homemade Energy is also another good choice. They have uh, manuals for solar and wind power as well. So uh, those would be my my three top choices for the do-it-yourself guides. Like I said, there are a lot out there, but uh, and I've, I've looked at about all of them, and uh, I always look for certain things, and these are the three that, that met my criteria. So, um, yeah, I hope uh, this has been been informative for you and helped you to make a good decision as, as uh, you tackle your uh, do-it-yourself solar panel system. So uh, good luck to you.